Welcome everyone to another AHA live tutorial. Today, we're talking about how to keep product managers and developers in sync. And I wanna start first by taking a step back. What does it take to build lovable products and be happy doing it? I think pretty much everyone would agree that product managers and engineers build lovable products when they work closely together. You need to be on the same page about what the goals are, who is doing what and when. Of course, you need a clear roadmap, well-defined features, and all those good things, but a lot of it comes down to how well product management and engineering work together. You need mutual trust, complete transparency, and seamless collaboration. This topic is important to me personally for a few reasons. I've had the pleasure of working in tech for over a decade, and I've seen for myself how teams of any kind can struggle to stay aligned and work well together and how that struggle can dramatically impact your ability to meet your goals and achieve success. Here at AHA, I get to spend a good amount of time talking with our customers as they share their stories, their pain points, and their successes using AHA. So I've heard firsthand how often this issue of being out of sync or misaligned comes up, and I've seen the ways our amazing customers are able to overcome that problem and achieve their goals. One of the things that has become really clear through those conversations is that the tools you use are an important part of how well you can align and how much work it takes to get on the same page, especially now that so many of us are remote. When information is easily accessible across teams and tools, it can be a really great facilitator for alignment, but often this is not the case. And when tools don't work well together, it can create tensions between teams. Product managers might get frustrated because they don't know the status of work and if it will be delivered on time. Engineering gets frustrated if dates or scope change and it's not clearly communicated. Product managers can struggle to understand how engineering is making prioritization decisions. And engineering often struggles to get visibility into strategy or the why behind what they're being asked to build. Interestingly, during our April tutorial on building impressive roadmaps, we polled attendees to get a sense for who product managers are building roadmaps for. And 62% of respondents listed engineering, which is great and just further illustrates how important it is to be able to share up-to-date strategy and plans with engineering. Because being out of sync slows down progress and creates space for misunderstandings that can lead to wasted effort and frustration. So before we dive into using roadmaps and develop together to achieve alignment, I want to talk about three important concepts to keep in mind when you want to build alignment between product and engineering. These concepts are at the core of what Jeff will take you through in a moment, and they apply to any product and engineering team. So first, engineering needs insight into the product strategy and plans. So everyone can be on the same page about where you're trying to go, your product and company goals, and how you plan to get there, product initiatives, and your roadmap. Next, product management and engineering need a clear, transparent way to align on priorities. So engineering knows product's top priorities, and product can get insight into engineering work. That way, you can align on a single prioritized backlog, and from there, engineering can refine technical details and make a plan to get the work done. Finally, product managers need to understand how the plans are being executed by engineering and get real-time insight into progress being made. Ideally, engineering work status should sync seamlessly back to product managers, so everyone is clear on how plans are moving forward. So to recap, the core components of staying aligned are sharing strategy and plans, aligning on a single prioritized backlog, and keeping everyone in sync automatically as engineering delivers work. Now I'm gonna hand things over to Jeff, to show you how you can use AHA Roadmaps and AHA Develop together to practice these three concepts. Thank you, Amy. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Tucker, Product Manager here at AHA, focused on AHA Develop. And today I'm going to be showing you how AHA Roadmaps and AHA Develop work together to help you with those three important steps for keeping product management and engineering in sync. Uh, this is a topic that I'm deeply passionate about. I worked as a software developer for 10 years before moving into product management. Some of the most challenging times as a developer were in teams where product and engineering weren't aligned. We spent our times arguing about what to build and struggled to ship code to solve our customers' problems. Not a pleasant experience. But by ensuring that product and engineering are aligned, you can create better products faster and ensure that everyone is happier while doing it. So we're going to cover three ways today that you can keep product and engineering aligned, how to set strategy and define plans in AHA roadmaps, 
how to align on a single backlog, refine technical details and develop, and finally, how to keep everyone in sync across both tools. To help you remember these three concepts, we came up with a simple pneumatic device, the three Ps for product alignment, plans, priorities, and progress. So let's get started with plan. Engineers are excellent problem solvers. They'll find problems to solve if they're only used as a construction crew. And that may not be the same problems that your company wants to solve. So my first recommendation for keeping product and engineering aligned is to bring engineering into your strategic plan and show them the vision for where you want the company to go. Describe how you want to bring the product to market and give them insights into the goals and initiatives you're planning to meet the overall vision. Getting alignment at this level alone can greatly improve all of the work that follows. If you're not familiar with AHA Roadmaps, uh, this is our strategic planning portion of the product. So here we are able to set our long-term vision, explain the mission and the why for the company, position, describing the way that we have intended to bring it into market. And we can also describe our goals and initiatives. Goals are those time-bound objectives that you have for explaining how you want to actually implement and meet your vision. The initiatives are the specific bodies of work that you'll be taking on to meet those higher level goals. So if we look at our optimized app performance initiative, you can see that we're working towards our top rated social fitness goal. And you can see all of the plans that we have underneath supporting that, all of the releases, epics, features, all connected together through what we call the red thread of strategy. So you have your plans, but how do you share them with engineering? Oh, well, you can share in a few ways. Uh, you can export all of these documents uh, so that you could share them over chat. You could add them to presentations or web pages so that you could grant your team direct access to it. Or best of all, you can directly invite your engineering team into AHA Roadmaps for strategic planning. That will give them visibility into everything that you see here. They'll be able to comment, have discussions, work collaboratively with you on creating these strategic plans. Product planning goes a level deeper than initiatives, though. You need to describe the specific work you want to accomplish to meet your goals. Uh, and that's where the features board comes into play. This shows all of the product work that we're planning to accomplish over the next several releases. So this is the view that product managers spend a lot of their time on within AHA Roadmaps. They have the releases that they're planning out across the top, GPS upgrade, EMEA market, mobile 6.0. And under each of those are all of the features that they're building out to support that release. Now, if we look into the details of one of these records, uh, you see all of the information that you need to describe the feature. You have the rich text description. You have all of the attributes describing the work. And this gives product management a place to define all of this so that it is ready for engineering. What's important to note here is that this is specifically a place where product management can work. This is their own private queue of work that isn't cluttering up the engineering team with stuff that's still being decided upon and figured out. So this ensures that product has their own space for getting things ready, while engineering still has a clean backlog full of actionable items. But this tracking friends in real time feature this is pretty well defined and it's ready to go. So what we can do is we can head down to our team field and we can assign it over to the mobile team. This is the team that's going to be responsible for implementation. So now we can start heading over into Auto develop and seeing how this feature comes to life. But first to recap, on strategic planning. So within AHA Roadmaps, you can set strategy, uh, painting a clear picture with goals and initiatives of where you're going and how you plan to get there. What's great about increasing transparency this level of engineering is that there's more opportunity for collaboration. In addition to being able to comment the goals and initiatives, they can also help you set early estimates or better understand release capacity so that the plans that are being sent over to engineering are more realistic. You're not planning in a vacuum. So I've sent the track friends in real time feature over to develop. And so now we get to talk about priorities. So let's navigate over to the mobile teams board. And we're going to take a look at their backlog management page under the plan menu here. I've switched from an AHA Roadmaps workspace to an AHA develop team. The team is the dedicated space for engineering with features for planning work, managing and visualizing your process, documenting standards, and reporting on team performance. As noted, our first stop here is the backlog management page. And here you see another key part of keeping product and engineering aligned. 
separate queues for product and engineering work. These separate queues allow for both product and engineering to represent their top priorities and gives each other space to decide on what's most important for the overall team to address. So the product work on the left here, this shows the roadmap focused work that we believe will help us meet our company goals. The engineering work on the right is the work that we need to keep the product performing well. So think fixing defects, solving customer escalations, improving performance, performing upgrades, uh, all of those items that are essential for keeping the product running well. This visibility between the two sides is critical. I've talked with customers that struggle to get their product work prioritized. It just sits at the bottom of the engineering backlog behind endless engineering focused tasks. And conversely, I've worked with teams that totally disregard engineering needs in favor of new product features. By seeing both priorities side by side, teams have been able to evaluate the trade-offs they're making week by week. So the backlog management page here allows product and engineering to sit together and discuss these possibilities. They can refine and break down the work, adding estimates and tags or even assignees. And once it's ready, they can move the work into their prioritized backlog, the unified queue of work for the engineering team. So let's continue following our feature here, tracking friends in real time. You see it's assigned over from the Roadmaps workspace from the mobile 6.0 release, which is currently targeted for an August 5th release. We drill into this record, you see all of the same information. This is a very important point of how Roadmaps and Develop work together. Uh, it's not sending a copy of the information anywhere. It's the exact same record presented across either Roadmaps or Develop stored on our shared data platform. So this means that engineering has visibility into all of the information that the product management team has been putting in to plan the work. In particular, that means they've got access to all of the goals and initiatives, that red thread of strategy that we talked about a few minutes ago. This is one of the major benefits of how these integrated systems work together. I've spoken with engineering teams that are totally disconnected from the why. They don't understand the big picture and feel less effective as a result. But by, again, pulling them into this process so they see where they're going, uh, you're going to ensure that everybody is working together, rowing in the same direction. So here we've got our feature. We've got an estimate on it. Uh, we've broken it into requirements that you can actually assign out to different teams here. This design requirement actually belongs on our front-end team here. But overall, we're ready to go. So what we can do is we can take this Track Friends in Real Time feature and drop it into our prioritized backlog, maybe right behind this customer issue. What we can do now is continue on our planning. So some teams like to use a Kanban flow. At that point, all of this work is already gonna be on their board. So they're continuing to work in their sort of flow state just like they prefer. But some teams like to use sprints. They like that iterative planning approach. And so again, from the sprint planning page in AHA Develop, you see our prioritized backlogs. You can see these top items that we want to uh, move into. Looks like we're just about to wrap up Sprint 7, so we can start planning into Sprint 8, maybe pull down these couple of issues, and then we can transition from Sprint 7, let's wrap all of this up, into Sprint 8. Now that we've moved this work into a Sprint, we can head back over to the Roadmap side and see how these tactical planning is reported on the Roadmap side. So if we switch back over to our front-end cycling workspace, uh, the first thing to note is that our feature now has a sprint added to it. So we're able to see just how this particular record is moving through the engineering process. In addition, though, we can use the sophisticated roadmaps reporting to pull up a recent, our sprint roadmap. There we go. And here you can see how all of the features that are being managed in the Fred One Cycling workspace are being allocated out to the various teams and put into their various sprints. So you can see here, we're currently in Sprint 8 for the front end team. We've got a whole host of our features currently being built out by the engineering team there. So to recap on priorities, we've now talked about two of the three P's for product alignment. So PM set strategy and define their plans and AHA roadmaps. They assign work to the right engineering team and develop, and then the backlog management and sprint planning pages help engineering and product align on that single prioritized backlog and how it's going to be moving through the implementation process. Next up, let's focus on our third and final P, progress. For that, let's transition back to our development team. 
And let's take a look at the team board. So this is where the engineering team can visualize and manage their day-to-day -day work. So once again, we have our feature that we've been following along, tracking friends in real time. We can see, again, this is the same feature. So all of that information that we saw in backlog management and sprint planning is still available here. When you're in the process of completing work, that connection is very important. Right? Maybe I'm a developer and I need to report back to the PM on the status or ask a question about something. So I can ask Amy, where are the latest designs for this? Now that comment is going to show up back in the roadmap side so that the product management team has visibility into those questions that are being asked. Uh, we could also break out separate to-dos. You can see we have a review tasks to-do that's sent over to Mike also in the product team. So this is a really fluid way for us to ensure that everybody is being involved in that product development process. But there's also a small subtlety here that I want to call out, something that's very important that allows these two different methodologies, these two different teams to work together. So product and engineering have different processes despite the fact that they have to collaborate so closely. So the product team, they tend to worry about the entire feature lifecycle, everything from discovery up through final delivery. But developers tend to only have a smaller portion of that process, right? But a more detailed part of it, right? So the actual implementation phase, they have a very granular process that they need to go through with steps like code review, testing, and deployment. Within AHA, both product and engineering can have their own workflow. This allows the teams to work in whichever way that they want, yet remain closely in sync since both statuses are visible on a single record. But in addition to visibility, we can go a step farther. We can actually implement automation so that as the team, for example, moves work across their board, we're able to automatically update the roadmap status so that everyone is getting the latest information about how progress is being made. So we can head over to the Fred Wim Cycling workspace again, and let's go check out the workspace settings. So here you see on our workspace settings, we have a, some options for AHA develop where we can actually create a team mapping here. So here I've been able to say that when a feature moves to end development on the workflow board, develop workflow board, the feature is gonna be automatically moved into the develop status on our roadmaps board. That means if we come back here, we can see that this feature that was previously ready for development has now actually been started upon. So this is particularly helpful because it ensures that your roadmaps and reports that are shared with stakeholders are gonna be automatically updated. So at this point, you have a closed loop. Product has communicated the why and the what to engineering, worked with them to break apart the how, and kept up with the day-to-day -day progress of implementation, all within a single system. So to recap on progress, the development team manages the day-to-day -day on their workflow board. Those statuses transparently update the status of work on product management side, and everyone is up-to-date and working together towards the same goals. And that covers how to use AHA roadmaps and AHA develop together to create a unified product development environment that makes it easy to keep products and engineering perfectly aligned on the three Ps plans, priorities, and progress. We hope that today's tutorial has inspired you to create better alignment between your product and engineering team so that everyone can stay in sync, reduce confusion, and be happier. And if you do run into questions, contact us at support at aha.io and we will respond super fast.